In this video, we will do the analysis of a restaurant sales data set and we will learn too many things in this one single video. This is our data set here and we will see how to drop the unwanted columns, changing the column names, using the log function. Okay, then we will see how to remove the unwanted rows. Okay, the info function and we will see the unique function and unique function uses and the strip function use case. Remove the duplicate records from our data set, the describe function, the duplicated function. And here also we will use the filtering to get some particular records from our data set. We will see what does in place equal to true means and this is our data set again. We will see how to convert the data type of the columns as per our requirement to float data type, how to do the round off of the values in a numerical column and how to change the data type to date time column to get the time series analysis. <clears throat> Here this is the analysis part where we have 10 questions. This is our first question, how to use the value count function, how to draw a bar graph with this and uh, so on, the sort values, how to sort the values, what is the type function, how to create a data frame from a series, this is second bar graph, how to give colors to the bars and how to create a new column how to sort the result in ascending or descending order. This is the reset index function that we have first used. And this is the another bar graph. The third question is here. And uh, so on, moving ahead, the fourth question. This is the time series analysis, date wise revenue. How to use the average function and uh, how to create the month column from the date time column how to filter out the particular records from the data set and the checking the standard deviation and the variance and how to check the revenues increasing or decreasing over the time and the <coughs> using the group by function on one column 